Hello everyone, welcome back to Method School. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can solve this simple radical equation. Um, in other words, what you can do with a square rooted variable of x. So without further ado, let's get right into this problem. Meanwhile, if you know how to solve this problem, pause this video and try solving this problem yourself. And then I'm going to reveal the final answer in just a minute so you can check whether you got this question right or not. And if you didn't, you can always play this video to check where you got this wrong. And if you're not familiar with this type of problem, don't worry, I'm going to show you step by step how you can solve this problem. So let's get started. I have 12 plus square root of 6x plus 4 is equal to 16. Now, as with other equation problems, what I want to do is I want to isolate this variable of x and move everything else to the other side of the equation. So first thing that I'm going to remove from the left side of the equation is going to be this integer term of 12. So I am going to subtract 12 from both sides of the equation and that way I'll get I'll be able to remove this integer term of 12 and I'll get square root of 6x plus 4 is equal to 16 minus 12 which is equal to 4. Now here is where most people do not know what to do but it's really easy I'm gonna show you what you can do with x underneath the square root sign is you square the entire square root expression like that and square the other side of the equation as well. You're squaring both sides of the equation so the equal sign should not change. It should stay the same. It should still equal to each other even if you square both sides. So if you do that, you'll be able to safely remove this square root sign and say that 6x plus 4 is equal to 4 squared or 16. Now we have a much simpler form of equation that says 6x plus 4 is 16. So let's further isolate this x by removing this integer term of plus 4 from the left side of the equation. What I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides to remove that integer term and I'll end up with 6x is equal to 16 minus 4 or 12. And if I were to further um, isolate this x, I need to remove this coefficient of 6 and I can do that by dividing both sides of the equation with 6. That way I can get rid of that coefficient of 6 and say that x is equal to 12 divided by 6 or 2. So that's how I arrived at my final answer of x is equal to 2. Now if you want to practice with more problems with me and watch more video solutions made by me, you can visit my school at www method.school where you can access dozens of worksheets that I made and video solutions to each and every problem in subject areas like these and you can access them by clicking this button right here. So thanks for listening and if this video helped you in any way then please like this video and consider subscribing to my channel. It really makes my day to see any increase in the subscriber count. Also, I would like to ask you to post any math-related question in the comment section. I don't have that many subscribers uh, at this point, so I'm going to check every um, comment that's posted on my YouTube channel and uh, make a content out of it. So if you have any algebra, pre-algebra, or even geometry related questions that you couldn't solve, then I will try to make a video out of those. So thanks for listening. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye!